Today's video is based on the construction of uppercase letters from A to F. For letter A, I will use 5 by 5. For letter B to F, I will use 5 by 3. That is 5 columns, 5 um, rows. While for B to F will be 5 rows and 3 columns. For letter A, the first thing you do is to put a dot at the bottom part of the first box on the third column, the middle part precisely. Put a dot there, then mark the fifth boxes of the first column and the fifth columns as shown in this video. Alright, with a straight line, join the points together. When you join both points together, make sure you omit the fourth row. The fourth row should be omitted just as shown in the video. Alright, do it for the right hand side also. Omit the fourth row just as shown in the video. Alright, the next step for the outer part of the letter A. Draw a straight line from the top edge of box 1 in column 3 to the edge of box 5 in column 5. Repeat the same thing on the left hand side. Then lastly, join the upper and lower parts together, just as shown in the video. For capital letter B, on the third column, the third box, draw a curve, just as shown. Then in the third column, the third box, mark the midpoint, put a dot at the midpoint and draw a curve upward and downward. Then draw a curve on the third column of the fifth box. Then on the second column, you can decide to draw letter D on the second column, second box, or you can draw a circle in that middle, the second column, the second box. Then draw a straight line on the first column from 1 to 5. So on the second column, you can decide to draw letter D just as shown, or you can decide to draw a circle to fill up that box in the second column so i decided to do two the two types in the construction of this my letter b so with a ruler join all the curved parts together with a straight line then there you have it the letter b fully constructed Letter C. For letter C, letter C is filled with curves at all the four corners. On the first column, the first and the fifth box draw a curve. On the third column, first and the fifth box draw a curve also. Then, on the second column, the second box draw a curve. On the fourth box also draw a curve. Then, on the third column, there should be a straight line on the second box, the bottom part of the second box. Then the upper part of the fourth box. And with a straight line, join all the curves together to create the capital letter C. Alright, for capital letter D, on the third column, draw a curve above on the first box and below on the fifth box. Then on the second column also, draw a curve on the second box and the fourth box. Then with your ruler, draw a straight line on the first column from the first box down to the fifth box. Then with your ruler, join all the curved parts together with a straight line. Just as shown, the upper parts. The lower parts and the sides join with a straight line letter e and nev capital letter e and nev is filled with they are both filled with straight lines so five by three for both for Letter E for capital letter E, draw a straight line from the first box to the fifth box of the first column. Then on the first row, draw a straight line above, just as shown. 
then on the fifth row draw a straight line below just as shown then on the upper part of the fifth row from second column to third column draw a straight line second to third column do that again for the upper part of the fourth row the upper part of the third row and the upper part of the second row from the second column to the third column then join some parts together the first the second third and the fifth should be joined together at the at the right hand side then on the left hand side join the second and the fourth together so that will reveal the letter e capital letter f is straightforward is almost like um, letter e so just follow the same process like you constructed letter e capital letter e and um, draw a straight line on the first term row then the second column to the third column is straight line also second column to the third column the straight line also same thing applies below then on the first column at the side join both sides together just as shown and extend that line downward 